somebody else over there who spoke highly of you. Mm-hmm. Tony Ayo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That shit went like, I guess, Toronto viral. Like it was going around. It was making its rounds. His Vlad TV interview where he was like, Toronto, mm-hmm. Toronto, they get it in. Like you, Bundog. Like mm-hmm. you got dudes like uh, Bundog. I don't know if you know Bundog Presser, brother. Oh, I know Presser. Yo, listen, his brother, I don't care what weather. I seen him in Texas. He got a ski mask on. Wintertime, ski mask on. Summertime, springtime, ski mask. Shout to Bundog. He always got the ski mask on the whole Wasa Wasa game. I ran into them, them crazy dudes out there. So you got dudes like that. Then you got the natives, which... I was like, yo, fam. And then I started seeing the tour and everything like that. Yeah. Tell me about that G-Unit relationship and like how that came to be. G-Units are just real niggas. You have to look at it. 50 is like press. Mm. So that's why he's attached or that's why what he sees in press. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like me seeing another bundog on the come up yeah yeah 50 yeah. went through all the shit that we went through the uh the the tours getting canceled mm-hmm. the shows getting canceled him fighting with terror squad fighting with june like he's a gangster rapper yeah so coming up what do you think he had to go through in the first time i ever heard of well hip-hop police was what 50 they yeah. had g unit to run around you know Tony Ayo tells me stories about them going to shows and they have to you know they have to be protected and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And they have to go in there and they have to hold their own grounds because they have real beef. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's the same shit press is going through. So when those guys see us, they see themselves. So they're drawn to the man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're real gangsters, real street niggas. They know what we come from. They know what we're going through. They know how the industry looks at us because they are once in that position. Yeah. Just trying to get on tours and shit, you know? So yeah. when we called out, that was not nothing to do with no label. That's us calling out. That's just relationships. That's relationships, building relationships. And how the 50 cent relationship was built. And I'm going to tell you, it was through Charlie B. Cena used to always try to get us in with a guy named Renee over there. Mm-hmm. And I always wanted to get close to 50 because that's one of my favorite um, CEOs. You know, yeah. him, there's QCP, there's Baby, there's Jay-Z. You know, the gangsters that actually came out the trench and that are now CEOs and, and billionaires like Dr. Dre and certain people like that. But 50 is always my favorite because there's no filter, you know, mm-hmm. can't be canceled. And if I want to be like that, I'll just be like that. Like other people, they, you know, they're just trying to maintain that corporate image, that CEO image. He's doing so much corporate, shit, but still go on Instagram and fucking roast someone yeah. and, and just speak his mind. And just say, like, you're a bitch. This is a dog. You're goofy. Like, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, sometimes people just want to be their self. Like, unfiltered, like we were talking about. Unfiltered. Yeah. You just got to be unfiltered. Like, that's how I want it. Like, yeah, yeah. Why wouldn't I want to be unfiltered? Why do I have to come online and change? And, yeah. And, and, and maintain an image? Because it's just, like, it's uncomfortable to try not uh, to not be yourself. You want to be comfortable. Yeah. When you're out here acting, it's very uncomfortable. You got to keep that up. You got to keep that up. It's uncomfortable. So, yeah. But anyways, so, you know, those guys come to Toronto. We showed them love. He was on the tour with Peter Jackson. Oh, no, but I was telling you how it happened, right? So, mm. basically, how it went down was Charlie B said, do you want to open up for 50 mm. in Boston <laughs> to press? Said they're paying us like $5,000, 3500 I told press, I'll do it for free. Until this day, if they asked me again, I'd still do it for free. You're right. Press was a little hesitant. So this, this is like a no-brainer. Yeah. The whole reason why we're going there is to go tap into 50. Mm. This is as close as we're going to get to him. Let's do what we need to do. Yeah. And make sure you do what you need to do. So Press killed it. He went over there. And I don't know. Like, I guess he just went backstage. And when we went backstage, locked him with 50. 50 brought him to like New York, said, yo, link up back in New York because we're fucking with Star, his manager, Star. Mm-hmm. And then Yale and then our nigga Triggs is who Press fucks with from over there. Okay. He's from Queens. And I know him and Press be locked in. And I just have relationships with these guys because, yo, the thing is, when Press meets people, it's just like Tootsie. I never met him before, but I know him. Yeah. A lot of these guys, I never even seen in person. 
But when press is around him, he always puts me on the phone with them or I talk and then mm -hmm. we exchange numbers or we follow people on the gram and then I just support their shit. They support my shit and we just, you know? You build a connection. Yeah. You build a connection. So basically, so we went back to um, New York. So, so press goes to New York and then they're in the club and he just embraces the little nigga again. He says, yo, mm -hmm. I got Canada in the building. Uh, Spin Kid, that's Star's brother, mm -hmm. plays uh, Canada Goose in the in in New York and shit like that, and and that's pretty much it, and 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 then it was just established like that, and I'm just there, and sometimes you know, like I'd be like really like right there, mm -hmm. like I don't have to be there physically, but I'm always right there, like so I know what the going on i have yeah. other people in the camp just telling me informing me what's going on they're sending me videos sometimes i'm live with them for the concert like when i was on parole i was at like every concert mm. my mom used to go on live and and just just be on the concert for me with me and shit that and that's how i just try to stay in 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 uh, tapped in you know no so that's that's that's, that's dope fam and that's so, the dope connection to have yeah so so from we did that now so we linked like that and then yeah tony ayo came for peter jackson mm -hmm. and i showed him what's going on out here he knows toronto but one thing about tony he's tapped in he watches our youtube sh mm. he's he knows what the fuck's going on so then when he came to toronto and seen what's going on even more he's like yeah I f with these niggas and yeah. then after that's when we made a call we tried to get on the 50 tour and they said yeah We'll put you on the Canada, like, and we're like, all right, cool. And that was a good game. That's history because this might be his final tour. They this said is final his lap. final tour. Yeah. They yeah. said final lap. Yeah. So it's no. it's a blessing, you know? You got to thank God and, you know, thank real niggas for being there. And you know what's so crazy? I think they even tried to not even make us perform, you know? Really? The first one in Toronto. I heard some sh like, backstage talks, like, oh, we can't have press reform or something. Mm. And 50 said, let the nigga go. Let the nigga rock. Real nigga, because he knows what's going on. Yeah. Another bitch ass nigga in the industry been so scared. Oh, Live Nation. Da, 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 I'm scared. Da, 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 da. But he has the tightest security I've ever seen. Them niggas gave us 10 tickets. I never got 10 tickets in my life. Crazy. 10 tickets, bro. Yeah. For my whole squad in Toronto. I went to Rolling Loud deeper than that. But you have to respect it because at the end of the day, it's where he comes from. Mm -hmm. He knows that when you bring the whole hood out, yeah. shit happens. We love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop.